First up, we have Old School Racer 2. This game takes inspiration from the Trials games and adds its own unique twist. You race against the clock and navigate challenging courses, but what sets this game apart is the ability to morph parts of the level or have the level itself move. This adds a lot of replayability as new routes open up. While it may not have a score mechanic, the game maintains the brutal challenge of Trials. It starts off easy, but as you progress, the levels get tougher and the true challenge begins. Old School Racer 2 is a solid and fun game that's definitely worth a look. Next up, we have MX Nitro Unleashed. If you're looking for a game that combines pulling stunts with building up a Nitro Boost gauge, then this game is for you. You can use this Nitro Boost to jump higher and further, either to clear obstacles or pull off even crazier stunts. The list of tricks you can perform is pretty standard, but they are executed smoothly and are easily accessible. The difficulty is middle of the road, generally forgiving but occasionally challenging as your AI opponents will give you a run for your money. Overall, if you're searching for a motocross stunting fix, this game is a decent arcade-style implementation of that. Right, let's do it again. Now, let's talk about Stunt Paradise. This game will have you driving your car through insane situations, much like the Trials games. You'll be jumping over trains, hitting exploding barrels, and narrowly avoiding swinging axes. While you can drive backwards and forwards and tilt in the air, the general direction is automated. Each level has optional stars to collect, as well as coins that unlock new cars. You can also do tricks, although I'm not sure if they add to your score. Stunt Paradise is a fun and crazy game, but later levels become reliant on trial and error, which can be disappointing. Nevertheless, the early levels are smooth and enjoyable to play. Now let's talk about the full package you've been waiting for, Trials Rising. This game offers a huge list of tracks to tackle, as well as races and trick-based stunts. Red Lynx has truly delivered the best installment in the series since Trials Evolution. With a killer soundtrack, tons of customization options, and an impressively deep tutorial mode, Trials Rising is a must-have. The only downside is the tutorial-free track editor, and the drop in frame rate and visual fidelity when compared to other platforms. Regardless, Trials Rising has found its home on the Nintendo Switch and is an absolute blast to play. Next up, we have Urban Trial Tricky a game that combines elements of the Trials series, Tony Hawk's, and Joe Danger. This game offers a decent motorbike stunt experience that's fun when you're speeding around and pulling off ridiculous tricks. However, it is let down by some shoddy level design and a lack of finesse. If there was more space to maneuver and better placement of environmental obstacles, this game could have been amazing. Nevertheless, it's still an enjoyable experience for fans of stunt biking. Moving on, we have Gravity Rider Zero. This is a pretty cool game that plays similar to Trials. You control your vehicle by tilting it forward and backward while accelerating and braking. The physics in this game are forgiving, making it easy to pick up and play. However, the camera angles can sometimes be odd, 
which can make the gameplay a bit confusing. Despite that, the game is fun as you level up, unlock new vehicles, and progress through various races and time trials. The tracks are cleverly designed, allowing for impressive stunts and avoiding hazards. Get ready to get wrecked with wrecked high octane stunts. Despite the unconventional name, this game offers a complete and charming single player experience. The controls are tight and the in-game physics are enjoyable. For its low asking price, the game keeps rewarding your efforts with extra content and expands the multiplayer portion. While a traditional racing mode would have been nice, the overall experience justifies the price tag. Freeride Mountain Biking This game offers a solid trial and error gameplay experience. There's always a sense of achievement and hard work when you finally clear a level. The camera panning out during large jumps is a really cool feeling. With plenty of levels to choose from and customizable options, you can add a personal touch to the game. The controls may not be perfect, but they don't make the game unplayable. Shred 2 is a solid and fun game that has its moments once you look past its issues. Oh my god! Well good. Absolute Drift is a top-down racer dedicated to the art of preserving momentum through precise control of turning. The control scheme may feel a bit tricky at first, but with time and effort, you'll get the hang of it. The challenges progressively get more complex as you go, and the drifting gameplay is the main focus. If you're looking for a different sort of challenge, absolute drift may be just what you're seeking. Last but not least, we have Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. This game is an over-the-top playground for monster truck enthusiasts. With comical trucks inspired by real-life Monster Jam events and beautifully designed worlds, this game is a few hours of fun. While there may be some bumps and hits that can put a dampener on the experience, it's still a great title for those who love destructive carnage and mayhem. Everybody in the world blind Please Lord give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Everybody in the world blind 